Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. Today we are back in the Rift Breaker. We, uh, if you're watching this later in the future, uh, it is currently Mutiny Monday, and every Monday evening we do a rounds of the Rift Breaker while I try to play this game while chat tries to break me. Oh, hey uh, there, beauty. Doing this one a bit early because tonight I'm going to be practicing for the Thunderstorm $50,000 tournament on Saturday. I'm going to be practicing with my partner tonight. Uh, that's just when the schedule's hey, lined look, up. It's the tree so, first. going to be doing this one uh, early, doing this one Monday morning. And yeah, that's the plan. So I believe last time we did Tropical. Oh, that's right, we did the one wall challenge last time. Last time we did Tropical and we, uh, let's uh, activate the streaming thing. There we go. All right, we are connected to the chat. Uh, let's do survival. And what should we do? Uh, don't think I've had a win on the desert recently. Hi, Star, I see you, happy birthday. Um, it, Monk needs to sell hot sauces and beakers. I, since I don't, can, since I have no resistance to spicy, it would be like two Scoville. It would be like a hint of orange chicken just drove past hot sauce. That's it. Uh, let's see. All right, thinking radioactive desert. I haven't had a win on the desert in a while. Uh, let's do, we'll do brutal and sandbox on. Set this to brutal. And what about duration? Uh, let's do 215. I think that's what we normally do. I wish you could adjust the, the attacks per wave. Like, it just goes from 100 to 200. I wish you could set it to like 150 or something like that. Because I'm struggling on the 200% with the integration turned on, but the 100s I'm usually doing okay on, unless you guys do a lot of crazy redeems. Mutt can't handle spicy yogurt. I did not know there was such a thing as spicy yogurt. That sounds awful. Okay. Let's try this out. Here we go. Mutiny Monday morning. That's right. That's right. It's kind of an experiment. This is our first time doing Mutiny Monday morning. Oh my gosh, like looking into Notepad. Rift jump successful. Sensors online? Weapons activated. We're ready to go. This biome is much less welcoming than the tropical zone. It's full of radiation and there's practically no wind here. We'll have to rely on solar power, at least in the beginning. Ashley, remember to watch out for quicksand. You'll have to place extra stable floor over it to prevent our buildings from sinking. Okay. Not really a great spot for uh, walls here, but there is area here that we can mine. So I'll do this. Muck, what's the challenge today? Ah, uh, just doing brutal. It's brutal plus chat. We'll see what happens. Ashley, I'm sure that our presence will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. Not enough carbonium. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. We aren't sure what to expect here. Buck can't handle spicy. I didn't know that existed. Not enough carbonium. Right, that one's done. Good afternoon. Hey, Corella. Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. Just trying to get the carbonium income going uh, as much as I can. We have power shortages. Connect more power plants. Oh, 
Look at Zero mutinying. Yep. We've never done it before. We will see what the people think about this. Zero mutinying. up here and more carbonium. Galaxy Miss Music, thank you for the resub, welcome! It's Mutiny Monday, if there is a disaster you would like to order off of the menu, there is a pinned comment at the top of the chat. You can do so if you wish. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage for some Okay, I have never seen this before. This, like, super buried in a cave deposit thing? I've never seen this tile before. If it wasn't for the minimap, I wouldn't have known that was there. going to be coming up soon. We're going to want to add some power. And armory. Muni Monday with the nice crowd. The nice crowd? Are you guys the nice crowd? Not enough carbonium. I guess time will tell. tends to be nicer than the NA Monday Killbot crowd. Mm, we'll see. I've never given the EU group the opportunity to do mutiny. So we will see how y'all uh, how y'all act with it. detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks like our presence is being noticed. We have to assume we're not welcome here. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. Alright, and first wave is usually just mush bits. I need 250. Uh, let's see. Crafting completed. Okay, as long as it's just mush bits, should be fine now. Their wind shark gifted a tier 1 sub to Ion Store Moo. They have given 139 gift subs in the channel. Okay, hold, hold that thought. You know the rule. All the the uh, redeeming disasters kicks in after the uh, first attack. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Not enough carbonium. Ah, uh, y'all did strong attack, didn't you? Uh, 
I'm really glad I made this sword. Grenade. If I was still using the hammer, I would be completely swarmed right now. Okie dokie. All right. I heard Ion Storm. This Ion Storm is really intense. It disabled a lot of equipment. We have to wait it off. Extra stable floor tiles. Do more plunder storm fair light tonight? That is the plan, yes. You guys tell the evening crew that they missed the meeting. Uh, when do we get that sword in Helldivers? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, I miss playing Helldivers, but they need to fix, like, there's two major bugs going on in the game right now. One is the crashing, and the other is all Everything's the ele electric weapons crashing people. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Bugs are bothering you, why not just play against the robots? Ah ha 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 ha. Your turn, Chad, if you would like to do a vote. You're gonna take away my money. Alright. I'm gonna do this way ahead of time, just so that you don't zero out my account. I'm still gonna lose Ironium from this, but this way I don't hit zero. Defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very. But this might be shooting myself in the foot. Their wind shark gifted a tier one sub to Snail Boss. They have given 140 really? gift subs in the channel. Ah, uh, Snail Boss. Northwest corner. I would like to build more walls during this time, but. Storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. I almost got one shot by it.
What's up today? What's up? We're just doing brutal desert right now. I haven't won on the desert in a while. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. I feel like... Hang on. I feel like 200% with chat integration is too tough, and I lose that a lot, but 100% might be too easy. But it's... So I don't really know what to do from there. Oh, God. Base is under attack. One of our portals has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. There is a breach in our walls. <sighs> Crafting complete. Stream deserts like 175. Uh, uh harder chat gets in, yeah. Tower destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Was being destroyed. Base is under attack. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Threat neutralized. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Ah, this one shot through that rock. He shot through that rock and killed me. God dang, I lost a lot there. As well as all the storages. Ah, it's tempting to just restart that. I lost a bunch of storages full of money. Extreme Final Wave is designed with co-op play in mind. Find single player may be too hard. Tucked away Some base is kind of neat, but it's a pain power. to see anything in there. Base is under attack. Um, hub. Yeah, I need to. I was set back economically there a lot. Because I lost the storages, I lost most of my money, so... Good morning. Good morning, Samuel.
south has a meager wall. I gotta deal with north. Your turn, Chad, if you'd like to interact Our with the game. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Base is under attack. Rocks can do some serious damage. Muck needs a shower, and raise. then you did a meteor shower. An ah, energy ha, 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 ha. has been destroyed. Let's do let's see, repair tools. Crafting completed. One of our portals has been destroyed. Let's see, do we have it's a mini miner? One of our walls has been destroyed. Base is under attack. Oh, there's stuff here other than just the meteor swarm. An energy connector has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available. The rock rain is over. What? That was intense. There's stuff inside my walls. Heck. I don't even know where the stuff came from since the meteor alerts were covering it. Ah. Uh. that and why is this stuff cut off that's why okay that's fixed research completed our calm have done um rockets next or flamethrowers how much time do I have two minutes Get one of these rockets, I guess. Too close to another portal. So folks say hi Eisengun.
Pandonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Base is under attack. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Research completed. It's another Tom Hub. Your turn, Chad, if you'd like to impact the game, you have an opportunity. Detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Research completed. I don't even know if I have any cobalt yet. Fire trail. I don't think that's going to help much. Acid might. Crafting completed. Base is under attack. There is a breach in our walls. Tower destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more oh storage Oh my god, buildings. why did I just take a Base bunch of damage? Is under attack. Holy cow. There's like a residual explosion there. I'm not sure what that was. Oh no! One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Okay. What's that? What's that? And this wasn't A even new connected to the power has been wall. Developed. New blueprints are available okay. for crafting. Got through that. New buildings are available for construction. No research, research selected. Um, let's do faster research again. And can we upgrade that? No, not at the moment. All right. Sell this. that up. More Ironium income. Alright. Uh, let's see. There's a Carbonium patch near the top left I would like to get. I think I'm caught up on Redeems. Windshark was the last one who did one. He said Snail Boss. Too close to another portal. There's some cobalt. Let's drop a mini miner here and leave a teleporter near it. I 
I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Oh god, he's up on the hill and I can't hit him. Oh, I forgot about my anger at that part of the system. <sighs> Let's see. Alright, we got that. Completely forgot about the dudes getting up on the hills. Uh, I'm gonna be out of AI cores in a second. Uh, your turn, Chad, if you'd like to tamper with the game, it's giving you a chance to do so. Under attack. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Huh? One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from Wait, nearby Wait, what? Nets. It spawned the Shagrets scattered all over the map? I've never seen this. One of our walls has been destroyed. They're usually all in one location. What, did they change this? Or is this just a fluke? Building has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Come on and slam and welcome to Japan, attack. kids. It's time for tentacles. Carbonium storage. Okay, that's sucking maybe Build a patch. I don't know. Storage facilities. This creature is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. Go there. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab. Threat neutralized. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important after researching it in a lab. This power line is cut. I don't know where. There. There it is. Cigarettes must have gotten that. A reminder to chat, please us capital as in big letters when voting to register. Thank you also, Anion Storm. <laughs> uh, all right, Ion Storm. The Ion Storm is disabling our equipment. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Out of cores. Research completed. See, that's done. A new 
new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research All right, I'm back completed. gathering tools. Crafting completed. I like having one of these. I feel like I get a lot of money I wouldn't otherwise get from these over the course of a game. Dang it. Everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Your turn, Shad, if you would like to tamper. New blueprints are available for crafting. Detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Oh, I wish I had quick save before you the did that. The storm is disabling our equipment. Research completed. Ah, uh, ha ha. I really do. Under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. A portal has been destroyed. Their wind shark gifted a tier one sub to Snail Boss 14. They have given 141 gift subs in the channel. I can't do it now. I wish you had done that a minute ago. Hang on. Weapon dropped. We can try to recover. All right. <sighs> Cover it later. All right, done. Base is under attack. Destroyed. The storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. An energy connector has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. Destroyed. A portal has been destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Ah, uh, the snail is near here. Projectiles are coming from the southeast. Got it. All right, what damage did this snail do? He killed this outpost. Okay. 
All right. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Can I go up here? Uh, don't want to sell that yet because my Carbonium wallet is currently full. Get all this ironium income. Now I'll sell that. Is there a reason for leaving one space between the walls? Uh, cleave. Uh, the enemies hit the first wall and their splash damage can hit the second wall. I want them to have to devote time to each layer. Like once you get to the point where you're rich, you can just make like a five layer thick wall. But in the early game, in my personal experience, I feel like it's better to have two walls with a space between them. Just because of cleave damage. Also, you don't usually want turrets to be a flush against the wall, because then they're hitting the wall, they can cleave the turret behind it. It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. Research completed. Pair tower done. Let's do radar and... Can we get the uh, energy walls? Those there were we fun last time. How are your practice matches a fair light going? Um, okay. The first night that we did practice, we had... He had basically never played WoW before. And by the end of that, we had... By the end of that night, we got a win. The second night that we did practice together, we got three more wins. So we've gotten a total of four wins. And I'm a WoW veteran, but I haven't played in years. And he is a WoW noob. So it's pretty good. Now, there is a couple teams that are uh, practicing for this thing that already have like 60 wins, but they are teams where both members are like in world first guilds. I don't know why they're together, <laughs> but yeah, we're doing what we can. So tonight will be night three of practice. Improve our chances of survival. Every bit helps. Alright, got all that. And the Shagrette spawned inside the base. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Tower has been destroyed. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. A new technology has been developed. Annoying. Radar and laser walls are done. Um, just be a little too. Let's get 
with that. And we're stuck. What, do you see any bakers nearby? No, I think he's in the living room right now. I can't see from here. Last I saw him, he was asleep in the recliner in the living room. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Level 2 ammo handling is done. Let's get level 2 rockets. If we can. Upgrade some of those. Energy walls. Yeah, I messed with them last time. It was pretty good. I think the last time was a uh, tropical though, so this might be different. We will see. It's tough to see how good they do because uh, they are yet another thing that doesn't show up in the scoreboard at the end. So sometimes it's tough to gauge their effectiveness. has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Uh, your turn, Chad, if you would like to vote. It is giving you an opportunity. What do I need to upgrade rocket towers? I Titanium. Is full. Purple. More storage facilities. There's some there. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Quick save. Um. Hmm. Pickaxe, have you done that? Mm, not really. It's it's been a while. I've always kind of felt like the pickaxe is a worse hammer, but I haven't messed with it lately. No. The boss is north of me. I'm just trying to deal with this. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. One of our portals has been destroyed. Base is 
base is under attack. One of our energy connectors is destroyed. There's a cryo turret and a hologram to tank it. Oh god, I can't see. See if there's a million monsters in here. Oh great, there's a few of those things just like sitting up on the wall. Base is under attack. Okay, at least the drones are helping. An energy connector has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Come on, drones, get them. Okay. Research All right. Completed. Level two walls. Let's uh, go toward that. Let's upgrade one of these. And sell that. Sell that. A new technology that. has been developed. And we lost something over here. The dash pickaxe has size of nuke impact. The here, hold on, I'll save. Research dash completed. dash pickaxe. I haven't researched it. Um, okay, researching it now. Maybe I'll give it a shot. I think I've got laser walls around the whole base now. Uh, did I ever get that titanium? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm able to upgrade turrets now. A new technology has been developed. All right, so that'll new be the next lab. Available for crafting. It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. And basically out of carbonium. We should go and investigate that area. Research completed. Okay, pickaxes unlocked. Uh, how much is a pickaxe? 100 and 350. Yeah. If you're doing normal survival, what are the first things you should build? Uh, carbonium income. First thing you want to do is, uh, in my opinion, is run around and try to get two or three carbonium income areas. Um, and keep in mind, one trick that you can do in the early game is just slap down one carbonium power plant with three carbonium factories, and this one will power those three. You don't even have to connect it with a line. You can just run around the map and just do that, you know, four building setup and get a lot of greedy income. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. Warning! 
Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Your turn, Chad, if you would like to vote on the game. This should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. Every bit helps. Wait, one. That thing was not in the right place. Base is under attack. Where? I mean, yeah, the pickaxe has a big radius on the dash attack, but a building has been destroyed. It doesn't do a lot of damage. At least not at level one. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. It one shots mush pits in a 15 uh, radius. Well, so does an auto attack from hammer and a swing from the sword. Maybe not in quite the same radius, but still. I don't know. I feel like mush pits aren't the problem. Like, just that they died of the trail. I mean, I'm sure there's certain situations where it could be useful. But. I'll try. I'll try keeping it for now. You made you spend some resources. Uh, you did do that, yes. Yeah, this whole thing, this whole pickaxe thing was just a ruse. Give me to spend money. That's the setup I was talking about there. Base is under attack. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Hmm. I feel like sometimes I can't get the dash attack to trigger. Maybe it has a cooldown. There's a lot of invisible fellas there. Base is under attack. Two energy walls are done. Uh, 
Out of money. Your turn, chat, if you'd like to vote. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards opposition. Base is under attack. A portal has been destroyed. One of our buildings was being destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Base is under attack. A portal has been destroyed. Oh my god, I didn't make a door here. A building has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. There is a breach in our walls. An energy connector has been destroyed. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. No, it didn't do the dash. It didn't do the dash again. Oh my god, this is so independable. New buildings are available for construction. All right, that's four times I've tried to do the dash, and it did it once. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. One of our walls has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Our base is low on power. Okay, yeah, no. I, these gotta go. These gotta go. It's like you you got to do a directional and shift and click and it all has to be on the same microsecond and it's like working for me one time out of four. I'm detecting a large These are done. Large group of creatures heading towards opposition. Are they east this time? under attack. A building has been destroyed. One of our portals has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. I'm stuck. I just used dash and it didn't move me. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Wall destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A portal has been destroyed. Tower has been destroyed. There is a breach in our walls. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. One of our portals has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Base is under attack. Wall destroyed. An 
energy connector has been destroyed. Oh my god, I can't hit him. Drones, please. Base is under attack. We have zero ironium income right now. Our base is low on power. It also said that attack was coming from the east, but a big chunk of it came from the south and killed every outpost to the south. Mr. Riggs' radar is pretty crap. Does not have power. Here. That's why. Research completed. Okay. Maybe you can consider purple acid trail with water source found. Uh we'll see. We will see. Got every ironium deposit on the map right now. There's more titanium. How is my titanium amount right now? Not great. Alright, mini miner. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. No gate northeast corner. Yeah, the eastern side of the base is still in shambles right base now. Is under attack. is under attack. your turn Chad if you would like to vote and impact the game you have a chance to do so Let's misclick on one of those
too close to another portal. Come on. A new technology has been developed. Research completed. Okay, level seven is done. It's got level two resource gathering. New buildings are available for construction. doing a cobalt 550 at the moment Let's see is there any buried goodies in my base? There is. Energy walls need your iron storage. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm hoping that they will delete the mush pits. Answer is obvious. If it eats up I ironium, I just gotta get more ironium. Easy. Mushpits have energy resist. Do they? Since they get one shot by the energy sword, I never thought that that was. An issue. It doesn't say resist when I hit him. Are you sure? A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Fifty percent resist. Why doesn't it say resist then when I hit him? Research completed. Level two mines and drills. Uh. Hmm. Everything's out of power, that's not good. Your turn, Chad, if you'd like to vote. What does tier two repair turret cost? Um, tier one is 100 carb, 75 iron, 25 cobalt. Tier two is 300, 25, 75. It's not too severe, and it repairs three times as not many things. Uh, I need the dawn to come. I'm quick saving in case the stronger attack kills me. Uh... I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Base is under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Connector 
has been destroyed. One of our portals has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A building has been destroyed. Drop a hologram just for a break for a second. This is under attack. storage is full. Build more storage facilities. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. A portal has been destroyed. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. One of our buildings has been destroyed. There is a breach in our walls. An energy connector has been destroyed. Base is under attack. A tower has been destroyed. One of our portals has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. Base is under attack. I hate those flying things so much. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Why do I not have a teleport over there? Let's fix that right now. Base is under attack. What even are those? They fly, they sometimes get stuck on top of walls, and like half of the defenses can't hit them if that happens. They do electric damage, they basically are like mortars. Um, artillery's not super effective against them, and they teleport when you get close to them. If you hit them with energy attacks, you stun yourself, and they explode when they die and it hurts you. Destroyed. Base is under attack. Look at this. It, it's like in the wall and shooting stuff, and it's not. They're so. Oh my god. Like, this, it was killing stuff here, and the stuff couldn't fight back. I think it, it, they wouldn't be as big of a problem if you could just take all of the guns that Mr. Riggs has and do this. But half of his weapons, you can't aim upward. And they will port upward, and then you can't hit them. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Uh, let's see. Research completed. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Need power in case of energy crisis? Uh, that's actually not a good idea. I did not ever research that on this playthrough. Your turn, chat, by the way, if you would like to do a vote. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. This creature is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. We kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab. Threat neutralized. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn Probably something about it after researching Ashley. it in a lab. What made it so aggressive? Us with our guns. Need more kobolds. Research completed. All right, got meat power. Ah. set up. Don't mess up my walls, whatever you are. Oh my god. There. I was like, where is it? Titanium. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alright. I was still working on the Ring of Repair Towers. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Research completed. Hmm. That's... How long's the next attack? Minute 19. Is there any more carbonium deposits inside the base besides these? Uh, 
Um, better healing. Do the fighting towers. Yeah, I just researched them. They kind of do the same. Well, hmm. they do a similar job to the energy walls. I think right now that my number one concern should be getting repair towers around the whole base, and maybe lightning towers or something after that. Oh, I was gonna make AI cores, that was it. Uh, your turn, Chad, if you'd like to do a vote. Power's almost out, that's not good. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Ironium storage is full. Build more I'm pretty sure these only take yeah these only take one energy a second so these aren't doing much on you know to drain. And power just went out. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. The dust storm is now at its peak. We have to wait this out. Base is under attack. One of our portals has been destroyed. The sun should be coming up any second now, although I don't know how the dust storm is going to impact that. Been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. This is under attack. One of our walls has been destroyed. has been destroyed. Wall destroyed. It looks like the dust storm is over. Under attack. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. One of our portals has been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. A tower has been destroyed. Our buildings was being destroyed. Weapon drops. Damn. Big hit from the top left to top right at the same time, and Dust Storm was really limiting my visibility. There is a breach in our walls. A portal has been destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. Why are you fighting with hammers? Because they're extremely destroyed. effective. Wall destroyed. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. I can't shoot Base up at that. I'm waiting destroyed. on the drone to kill it. Base is under attack. I hate this thing so much. Has been destroyed. So glitchy.
Okay, we lost a section, like a defensible section, but the interior of the base survived that. Three walls. We're out of carbonium. Uh, an infuriating oversight that recently occurred to me about this game is that if you can get hit by projectiles going over walls, you should be able to shoot at those attackers over them. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. There's some enemies that are supposedly tall and they can hit over the walls, like those little scorpion dudes in the um, Crystal Caverns, but they don't look tall. And like, basically every single ranged attacker in Crystal Caverns can shoot over your walls, but you can't. Even the ones that look smaller than you. It is it is uh, frustrating. Base is under attack. It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating. Oh my god, they're just camping in here. Interesting. We I can't go even see in this, that area. this room. Dude, this sucks. Just make the ceiling transparent. This is so awful. Ah. So disorienting. Okay, and then we've got something up here. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. This should stop them from gathering in this area. Why is my I drone not attacking? There it goes. Every bit helps. Center is near our position. It will it is near us, yes. To all our buildings in that area. Earthquake has stopped. Let's assess the damage. What a necro. Don't usually see those outside of Crystal Caverns.
A new technology has been developed. Research completed. I need the level 2 version of that power plant. New blueprints are available for crafting. They can be rarely found in desert and magma. Today I learned. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Cobalt. Alright. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Hot wild day tonight. Yep. I mean, it's an explanation of why you're uh, doing the email day early this week. Uh, tonight, me and... So, if you the haven't already heard, this developed. Saturday, New I am in a tournament for, for Plunderstorm, which has got a $50,000 prize pool, and it's a uh, twos, it's duos. And I'm practicing with my partner for that tournament tonight. Just because that's where our schedule overlaps. Research completed. Quick save in case you guys kill me with this. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Base is under attack. One of our portals has been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. Visibility, the freaking wall, I can't see. Has been destroyed. One of our portals has been destroyed. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed.
Dropping temporary turrets. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our walls has been destroyed. A portal has been destroyed. Ah, they're all just shooting over the walls. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Dude, look at these projectiles over here. From on top of the mountain, just raining down on the base. I hope that at some point, Earthbreaker adds higher walls. Like, even if they're more expensive. Give me the ability to make taller walls. Wall destroyed. Like, honestly, it feels like the walls are almost pointless right now against some of these enemies. Under attack. A tower has been destroyed. Like, look, dude, look at this. And I can't, look, I can't shoot them because I can't aim up. I just stand here until this derpy little drone kills them. There is a Grenade launcher can't, walls. yeah, a couple of guns can, but most of them cannot. Tower destroyed. Energy connector has been destroyed. Base is under attack. Is there anything they could shoot up besides the drone? Yeah, a couple. But it, it's, again, it's the minority. The problem was they were on top of the mountain shooting down and they destroyed most of the defenses. So what the stuff that was there that could have hit them was destroyed. Oh. Okay. Have you heard of Mortar Sentry? I have not. However, I think all the sentries can shoot up. But that doesn't solve the problem, you know, everywhere. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Hello, Mike Blue and Chad. Hi, Jersey. You can get the gun sentry in seconds. Yeah, but the problem is my the hot bar. We we don't we only have so many slots on the hot bar. Uh, I wish there were multiple bars, but like, it, like I'm I'm actively using all the skills here. Uh, I would love to also have the. Uh, where is it? Right here. The sentry gun. I would love to have that on the bar too, but the bar has a maximum number of slots. Just like in an RPG. Y'all played World of Warcraft. We could just add more hotbars. This creature is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab.
threat neutralized. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important. Shift after plus one, two, three, four. Are you saying that's a thing, or are you just saying no? That's not a thing. Okay, you're just saying like in other games. Yes, yes, like in other games. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. We'll lock and load, baby. Let's go. Hi, Eternal. And I'm out of palladium. grenade. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. I should start trying to have like one or two sentry guns back a little bit to just to get those weird guys that keep camping on the walls. It won't help everywhere, but it might help some. High tier rockets do a better job of that. I've got tier two rockets right now. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Advanced hammer. Research completed. Okay. Let's try that. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. seconds.
your turn, Shad, if you would like to impact the game. I'm out of Cobalt. Where was the Cobalt? They keep destroying it. This, this teleport pad's been destroyed like four times. Alright, quick save in case this kills me. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A portal has been destroyed. Some buildings don't have enough power. Ah, uh, rock guy, that's immune to hammers. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. One of our portals has been destroyed. And my whole base is out of power. Sun comes up in a few seconds. A building has been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Wall destroyed. Wait, what? Where? Here. Drone a minute. Okay. Uh, let's see. What outpost did we lose? That's that one. I guess those mined out. Where did this go? Waiting on this finish so I can upgrade it. You only shoot half the rockets, still lots of potential. Yeah. That was actually a pretty good attack because I did not. Um, I did not have to replace as much as many of the other attacks. So it wasn't as much of a setback as many of the others in this run. Too close to another portal. Okay, what else we got?
I'm doing research. Energy walls level three are almost done. Um, hmm. Ammo handling. I got a bit of money left over. Let's work on upgrading the resource gathering things. If possible, stop those for now. Never really seen the southeast end of the map. What's down here? It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. The construction. Okay, so something. Storage is full. Build oh, more storage facilities. I'm on the wall. Get him, drone. Oh, the drone's being stupid. Did the drone's AI get worse? I'm spending a lot of time derping around. I don't remember that. Ugh. Is a we should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. Research no research selected. Completed. Level three energy walls. Level three ammo handling. Okay. This should stop them from gathering. Oh! Eternal Fragment. Thank you. The Iron Storm has started. All sensors are down. A lot of our equipment has been disabled. He says you need snails. We have to wait until the storm passes. Uh, okay. How many was that? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I do a misclick? I didn't hear an alert. Base is under attack. An energy connector has been destroyed. No, nope, here it comes. A there to the has south. Been destroyed. Oh! He waited till the ion storm a has been destroyed. Ow! Give me my mucking maps. Equipment functioning is returning back to normal. Base is under attack. A portal has been destroyed. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Energy connectors has been destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. 
Oh my god, they're not all together! A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. Is that 10? I should have counted. Uh, my income! Research completed. Level 3 rockets now available. Let's do level 2 lightnings. Cost 100, tita 100 titanium for each rocket upgrade. Oh, also the level 3 walls. Are quite expensive. Oh gosh. I'm out of AI cores, no! Oh, EB with five gifted subs. Thank you, EB. Are you about to hit me again? <laughs> My god, Lucas, about to be Reginald Esquad, the fourth. This is Jonathan Van Sevels, the third. It was you and yours for the lap. We'll be joining all saints and demons on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch the speakers, give away every week, please, because he was lonely near the edge. Mm. Welcome. Four snails and an ion storm. I tried. Game's bugging again. An energy connector has been destroyed. Sometimes when people queue eye on storm with other things, it uh, doesn't do them when you would expect them to be done. So there is an eye on storm in the queue, but I don't know when it's gonna hit. It did still immediately wipe out an outpost, though. Till uh, daylight. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. West. Base is under attack. One of our walls has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A portal has been destroyed. has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Here we go! A portal has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Buildings has been destroyed. Space is under attack. One of our portals has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. That's 
an outpost, that's fine. Dude, what is this group from the southeast? They came from the west. They, like, phoned up another nearby colony and was like, hey, we got an idea. Uh, maybe they followed, like, one of the outpost power lines around or something. I don't know. Sneak attack. It was a sneak attack. More storage facilities. Research completed. Uh, Lightning Tower level 2. Wait, no, not bouncing. I, I do not know of anything that's good for. No, 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 no. is under attack. Okay. Bouncing Blades really did end up being underwhelming, though. Yeah. What was the other one? The Shard Gun? I never really had a moment where I felt like that was the answer to my problems either. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. I kind of thought that bouncing blades was going to be like OP and like, you know, tunnels where they could bounce off the walls and then just bad in open areas, but they ended up just being kind of eh everywhere. I am low. What is this game about? This is called the Rift Breaker Dovahkiin. We're currently playing in survival mode, where the objective is just to live until the timer at the top left uh, runs out. Um, however, uh, the game is basically about humanity trying to get a foothold on other planets for their resources. But in this planet, it's basically filled with the uh, creatures that are like StarCraft's Zerg. And so you're fighting for your life trying to stay alive and get up resources and stuff like that at the same time. And you've got a combination of um, weapons and stuff that you got from Earth as well as a you know alien research from like researching the stuff on the planet. You can come up with like new weapon ideas. It's all a chopper smuck, yeah, but it does have very good chat integration, which uh, is the reason I really enjoy it. Uh, we can play the game while um, occasionally chat will get a vote, like, you know, type A in chat to take his money or B to drop a tornado on him, things like that. So chat gets to be involved, too. Research completed. Uh... It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating Crap. from a common points near our base. Wait, why does this have no power? Interesting. We should it go and power. investigate that area. Hell. That's why. Sounds like Avatar. Kind of. Uh, the longer version, there's there's a this team of people a called Rift Breakers, and a Rift Breaker is someone who gets sent, like, like, humanity uses system. a huge amount of power to teleport one single robot attacks. with a pilot inside to another planet there far away, a lot of them and that person has half of a quantum key, and if they're able to make a Rift Portal with their half of the quantum key on the target planet, they can open a permanent portal, and then people from Earth can come through freely. So, the, your win condition in the campaign is to make the rift portal back to earth so you have to go around the planet getting titanium and uranium and just all kinds of weird metals and stuff that are in different locations on the planet in survival which is what we're playing now objective is literally survive Research 
Research completed. Wait, what does this need? Plasma towers. That person be called a ripped opener. Technology oh. has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Is there any more carbonium on the map? Our base is low on power. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> Our base is great on power. My cobalt. Ah, I'll drop a mini miner. Pop it off. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. All right. Uh, More income. Okay. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Research completed. Oh, you guys gave me drones. Okay. Got it, thank you. Uh, those level three? Yeah, those are level three, all right. Waiting on money. I've got the research to build bigger, more powerful things, and I've got resource gathering equipment all over the map, but I'm just waiting on it to get vacuumed up. When is the next DMC5 stream? Not sure. Um, if there's another day this week where Fairlight isn't available for practice for the tournament, then I would I would uh, do it then. I sort of say finish it, because we might finish it on the next playthrough, but I'm not positive. That was a lot of fun, though. Not a perfect game, but it was very fun. Just breaking random stuff, the loot drone's picking most of it up. On to our house, everyone. Hello, Luca. Getting Gatling lasers, I'm planning on trying to use them for the finale again. That was really fun last time. Uh, your turn, Chad. If you'd like to do a vote to impact the game, it's giving you a chance.
I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Oh boy. Alright, selling a few things. Attacks. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. A portal has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Base is under attack. A portal has been destroyed. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. An energy connector has been destroyed. This choke point is really good. I'd like to stay here for a little while if uh, my base is safe. Been destroyed. Base is under attack. Wall the base, but it's not a lot of red dots. I think it's okay. Base is under attack. Okay, that went very well. We lost some mining outposts, which is kind of an always thing. Um, but yeah, that, that choke point, we, we got like a very large percentage of the attack wave at that choke point. spend some of my money. Research complete. All right, we out. attack in seven minutes. Uh, is that gonna be the last attack? There's 12 minutes left on this map. Might or might not be the last one. As far as the acid trail putting in work, kind of lucky in that regard. I only made the acid trail because at the time that I made it, it was the only one I could afford and I just wanted a trail. But it worked out. Upgrading ammunition storages so we can have more ammo. A 
Looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. Mm, we should go there. and investigate that area. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. It's over, Ashley. Uh, let's see. Palladium and titanium are low. Stop them from gathering in this area. And Drop one mini miner there. Every bit helps. And one up here. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Should probably make another one of these too. The factories that make the bullets. Research completed. Your turn, Chad, if you'd like to do a vote on the game. The Earthquake's epicenter is near our position. It will deal serious damage to all our buildings in that area. Alright, I think I might final... Oh shoot, what did I just upgrade? Armory. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think I finally upgraded all of the walls to level three, and all the rocket towers to level three. Wait, what's going? Oh, this is the earthquake. I was like, what? Why is this all damaged? is under attack. The earthquake is at an end. Ironium. Seismic activity is decreasing. Titanium. Uranium. Too bad the uh, uranium patch radiation damage doesn't hurt the bugs while they're attacking me. <laughs> Defensive uranium! Earthquake damage. Um, the repair towers around the walls have already fixed all the walls and stuff up there. Um, there might be a little, yeah, a few things more toward the center of the base that are damaged, but the defenses should be fine. Should be fine. Why vote Earthquake then? I mean, Earthquake makes it so that I cannot build in that area or uh, repair. Now, repair towers can still work, but I can't repair things. So like, if an Earthquake hits a section of the base that I'm trying frantically to rebuild before an attack comes, uh, it really screws me over. New buildings are available for and if it covers the whole base, I can't build anything. Well, just fortunately, at that moment in time, I didn't need to do that. Oh, 
All right, I can build Gatling lasers now. I think what I might do is when I see which direction they're gonna come from, I'll build some Gatling lasers on that side. I can't leave them up the whole time though because of the energy drain. They're like 250 a second or something like that. Your turn, Shad, if you would like to uh, do a vote, impact the game. I had intended to make a lightning tower on every side, and I totally forgot about my plan to do that. So I did not do that. This is it. We've defended our base long enough to initiate the final rift opening sequence at headquarters. The rift is going to send out intense. Uh, okay, so we are coming up on the last resistance. one. It's going to provoke the strongest attack yet. We have to prepare as much as possible and defend HQ at all costs. If that building is destroyed during the charge-up phase, it's going to result in a nuclear fission explosion. Either we survive, or it's game over. There's nothing in between. For crafting. You know, during this part of the event, like when the storm is going, like power, it goes like off the charts, but <laughs> it's a multiplier. And right now my only power income is solar and so the, it's nighttime, so there's zero sun. <laughs> so even though it's getting multiplied, it's still zero. <laughs> Look at the weird metals. Um, Low-ish on palladium. You like Dante? Uh, he was fine. I didn't like playing him as much as playing the others. Like anytime, anytime I started losing a fight, I just backed up and spammed pistols till I won. And chat was like, "Boo!" <laughs> They're like, "This is an action game. You do combos and get style points, and you're just spamming bang bang." I'm like, "Yeah, but I won." Where's the Plunderstorm practice? That is going to be tonight during the evening stream. Um, had to wait for my schedule to, or wait for uh, the schedule between mine, me and my partner to overlap. That'll be our third practice run together. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. All right, let's see. Gatling laser tower.
Probably gets that from everywhere. Yeah. These things take three. Oh, it's 300 energy a second. That is more than I thought. Has been developed. New buildings are available for Let's construction. Let's do this back here so it can hit anything on the walls. Oh, and I'm out of cobalt. Uh, I haven't gotten any at the north side yet. That's not good. A little worried about the attack um, going into nighttime. Because... Research completed. We would not be able to... Uh, do a whole lot at night time. That game is a whole deal like DMC. Yeah, it was fun. It was action. It was uh, really good music. It was it was fun. It, it was like fun. Not much else to say beyond that. It was enjoyable. Uh, sometimes the camera was frustrating in that game. Um, the the camera could give issues for sure. What was the other thing? Some of the button combos, it was like, left click, wait one second, left click, left click, wait one second, left click. And it was like, what, am I doing an SOS with Morse code? What the I hell is this? The ground and I, I couldn't get those to reliably happen, so I was just like, alright, I'm just gonna beat the game and not use this move. Yourself, Ashley. I guess we've made all the preparations that we could. Let's see. How our base stands against did you finish score. Pacific Drive? I did, yeah, and I've actually recorded a um, review, uh, which is in Noxie's inbox. Not enough cobalts. Give me that. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Boss, I, the ones with green health bars are bosses. An energy connector has been destroyed. Base is under attack. A building has been destroyed. Ow. Heavy laser gatling! Base is under attack. One of our portals has been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. There is a breach in our walls. Oh my god, the bottom left. The tower has been destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A portal has been destroyed. One of our walls has been destroyed. One of our oh! buildings has been destroyed. Oh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Weapon dropped. You can try to recover it later. Oh my goodness. A new 
technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Oh, my hotkeys are all messed up because that death. Energy connectors has been destroyed. Base is under attack. I just saw three hit points. An energy connector has been destroyed. Oh my god, destroyed. these have so much health. There is a breach in our walls. Nighttime is hit, so power is actually draining out now. We gotta finish this. I'm doing a tank hologram. Repair. We gotta finish this before uh, the power batteries die. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Another hologram just to distract. Wall destroyed. Repair that wall. Repair that wall. Tower destroyed. Okay, that one. Okay, bottom left again. All those health bars are bosses. Normal mobs don't show their health bars. One of our walls has been destroyed. Oh, uh, we did it! Hey! Nice. Congratulations, Ashley. We did it. Nice. How did we ever live through that? That final attack looked absolutely impossible to withstand. Now I feel like we can survive anything. GG! I forgot to do the egg. I forgot about the egg. No one reminded me about the egg. Congratulations, Novak. You were the best there ever was. What is shooting over here? There's something shooting me over there. Oh well. Oh man. G G. Okay. Uh, let's look at the stats. Damage inflicted by weapons. Well, hammer, almost a million. Cryo. To, wow, Cryo did more than Laser Sword. I only used Cryo a couple times. Burst Rifle. I only used the Burst Rifle when there were the, uh, what was it? The flying guys were, like, floating out in a distance away, and I was, you know, it was a pain to get to them. Uh, let's see. Damage inflicted by buildings. Rocket Tower level 3, and then Rocket Tower level 2 was almost 700k combined. Sentinel Tower level 2, 223k. Gatling Laser Tower, which was only there for the final fight, did 200k. It's a very powerful weapon, but... <laughs> As, uh... It was at 300 energy per second per Gatling Laser Tower, so it's not something that is easily kept online. Um, Lightning Tower did crap. 73k and 11k? Lightning Tower did garbage. Oh my gosh. They just... Yeah, that was not the map for Lightning Tower, apparently. I don't know. In my mind, I was like, oh, it's a desert. Deserts are hot. Don't use fire weapons. And for taking out the weak stuff, it's either the Lightning Towers or the Flamethrowers, I feel like. Uh, and I was like, oh, I'll go Lightning, because it's flame th Flamethrower in the desert. No, they're, they're resistant to heat. Oh, they're probably... But yeah, it's going be good. Again, I wish I could see how much damage the laser walls did. The laser walls that we built will um, do damage to things that melee them. Um, but it doesn't show here. It does not show. Uh, creatures killed. 15,000 monsters. And... Let's see, you know, half of that's mush bits. And then... I always thought they're called mush pit. It's mush bit. All right. 
Damage taken from enemies. The big old tanky mob did the most damage, of course. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. G, G. All right. Well, with that, uh, that used up about three minutes of our stream time. Um, lightning is one energy per second, though. Use loads of them. Um, yeah, but they're very—they're pretty expensive to place. They take a hefty amount of carbonium, ironium, and palladium. So if they're gonna do that poorly, I'll just make something else. But it's sometimes, um, it's sometimes tricky to remember which maps which towers are good on. Uh, yeah, okay, so somebody asked a second ago, let me close out of this here. Someone asked a second ago, they said, what is Plunderstorm? And I would love to talk about that for a second because uh, there's not enough time to play another mutiny at this time. So let me, uh, let me pull this up here. So Blizzard uh, made a game mode called Plunderstorm. And right now, you have to open World of Warcraft to launch Plunderstorm. Um, so it requires the World of Warcraft active subscription. I kind of hope they change that because I, I think that's going to you know kind of shoot them in the foot. But in any case, it's a, it's a battle royale type mode that plays with similar controls to WoW, but it's very much its own beast. But they to promote it, they made a thing called the Creator Royale. And they basically sponsored 60 creators um, to show up and play in a tournament. Uh, so it is sponsored, you know. My, my pantry will be stocked just by participating in this. However, if you win the tournament, you get $50,000. So been, you, me and a lot of these other people have been doing a lot of practice trying to get better at this. And there's a lot of famous names here. Uh, Maximum, Disguised Toast, Asmund Gold, Shy Lily... Uh, Uber Danger, Wow Crindor, like there's a lot of well-known people here, and then of course Muckluck. <laughs> I don't know how I got into this. I, I I've looked at, uh, I pulled up a lot of these people's streams, and they all were like, you know, five to ten times my size. I was just like, oh my gosh. So my my theory is that they sponsored 59 people, and they were like, all right, what do we have left? And someone was like, we got two dollars and a cup of ramen, and then they were like, I know a guy. <laughs> They, they, they use the budget on all these other people, and then I was like, oh, sweet, Cup Ramen. But they actually have a pretty cool trailer for it that uh, it has got my name in it. Hang on. You blink and you miss it. There we go. Muck luck and fair light right there. And that's it. So we've already done a lot of practice. I personally have won, I won eight matches in solos where it's 60 player free for all. And then I started doing duo practice and it's a whole different thing. Uh, like the knowledge I gained in solos was useful, like about skills and abilities and stuff like that. But in duos, it is a entirely different beast. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I've practiced with Fairlight two times since, uh, since then. First time, he had never played WoW before. So, like, even just the controls he was struggling with. But we did get one win by the end of that session in duos. And then the second time we practiced, we got three wins. So we've got four wins total now. Um, uh, did you know Fairlight before this? No, I did not. He is also managed by SideQuest, the same agency that manages me. So they probably, you know, got Blizzard to sponsor both of us and maybe some other people. Um... But no, I, I did not know him before this. We had never spoken. It was funny. And they actually told me, um, you know, uh, Muck, you'll, you'll be playing in the tournament, partnered with Fairlight. And I thought they when they said partnered with Fairlight, that Fairlight was a company. Like when someone's like, oh, yeah, we're partnered with Coca-Cola. And I was like, oh, OK, who, who am I going to be doing with? And they're like, partnered with Fairlight. And I was like, oh, is Fairlight a person? <laughs> 
Dude, I look so stupid. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a person. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were saying partnered with, like, like you know, partnered with Coke or partnered with Sony. And they're like, what? No. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Uh, you have management. Uh, sort of. I mean, besides my wife and my cat. Um, I have an agency that basically constantly, like, they don't manage me. I, I, it's easiest to just describe them as a management agency, but SideQuest Media, um, they constantly try to get me, like, sponsors and things. Uh, hang on a sec. Let me find their website. They recently got a new website. Where is it? So, basically... The people that own it, uh, they manage all of these people. Uh, T-Pain is one of their biggest people there. So he's a co-worker. Bajira. Uh, let me see. If I go to All Talent, I think I've got a page in here somewhere. Uh, Bike Man is really big. Uh, Captain Richard I've talked to a few times. Wow Crendor is huge. Uh, let's see. I'm probably like on page. Oh, Effextra Life. If you've ever seen their wikis, they're managed by these folks. Uh... Loco, I've watched him for over a decade. It's so like Sarko's. Oh, look, it's me! Pre beard. It's pre beard, muck luck. There we go. Yeah, so I've got my own page on here. But basically, what they do, um, they will go to various companies and they'll be like, hey, um, we, we see you've got a new game coming out. We've got some streamers that would love to promote your game if you want to work something out. And if, you know, sometimes they're like, F you. <laughs> and sometimes they're like, yeah, okay, who do you got? And then basically they've got all these people and they go to them and they're like, all right, you know, you've got an RPG. Here's all our people, but here's the ones that are really like RPGs. And, you know, my name will be in that stack. And then, they, you know, we all have different rates based on our viewership. So, you know, like I would be cheaper than Loco because Loco has more views than me. So sometimes uh, I get sponsors because of the rate. Sometimes they're like, oh, this guy's PG because like I keep it PG, uh, you know, 99% of the time. So sometimes that gets me business. Um, sometimes they're like, oh, yeah, Muckluck often just goes above and beyond and he'll make review videos even when you don't pay him to. But we're not promising that. And so that, that's gotten me some sometimes. Um, but the way it works is some management agencies in the space, they'll be like, oh yeah, you pay us a thousand, two thousand dollars a month, and then we'll try to get you work. The way SideQuest does it, and the, I, in my opinion, the way the good ones do it, is they take a percentage of what, like, if they bring me a work for a hundred dollars, they, they might get like 15 or 20 dollars out of that. But they only get paid if they get me work that pays me. If they don't get me work, they don't get any money. <laughs> so I, I like that. I very much like that. So basically, uh, before I was working with them, I might have gotten like five sponsored streams a year or something, and I had to manage everything. Now I might get like 10 to 15 a year, and I don't have to manage any of it. So it is 100% worth them taking a cut because I'm still getting way more work than I did before. And in this case, they spoke with Blizzard about this tournament at some point, and was like, hey, we've got some people that would be good for your tournament, and my portfolio was picked by Blizzard from the stack they had. Now, I joke about the $2 in the cup ramen thing. I don't know what actually was the motivating factor. Maybe because I was Guild Wars 2, or I used to be a WoW player. But yeah, like they picked me. Hey, Pirate Software recently was uh, signed on. Um, I think Nixium is in the tournament also. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, next week. I know there's other... Oh, there's Fairlight right there. Um, this game is on. They, I don't think all their talent has... Oh, Bajira, I'm pretty sure, is in the tournament. Uh, Black Man, Captain Richard, Captain Cowboy, Cringer. Wow, Crendor is in the tournament. I mean, Crendor has been doing WoW stuff since, like, Machinima. Uh, like, way, way, way long time ago. Uh, but yeah, yeah, there's there's a bunch of them there. But they're, they're pretty cool. They've been really good to me so far. Uh, I had an interaction with one other management agency before this one where I thought about signing on with them. And comparing it to what I have now, it's like looking back and realizing you were in an abusive relationship. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Like, I look back at how that first company treated me and I'm like, Jesus, that was bad. Wow, man, I was naive. I thought I thought like this was good. It's like when you're when you're like a, a young streamer. When I, I mean young, just as like how long you've been doing it, 
and you know people are like oh yeah we'll get you sponsors like you like you feel like okay that 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 means i made it you know when when hyper x is trying to give me a freaking share and ridge is trying to give me a wallet like that means i made it and yeah they, they make you they make you feel really good and then it's just like wait a minute th this deal sucks oh my god this deal's terrible mug is going to play your game another 100 hours off stream maybe when did you join SideQuest? Ooh, um, I could probably find out. Hang on. Let's see. Twitter, uh, sponsored by Raycon. Yeah. And it's, it's a pretty cool because like they come out, uh, they come message me and they'll do a thing that they call an interest check. And basically they'll be like, hey, here's three games coming out soon. Do you care about any of these? And, like, one of them recently was, like, a Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. And I was like, uh, not my thing. And they're like, okay. And then there was another one. I was like, that looks fun. And they're like, all right, we'll, we'll pursue this. Now, that doesn't mean anything's going to happen. That just means they're going to try to sell me to that game's company. And if it works out, great. But, you know, it might not. But basically, they, they come at me with, like, stacks of games. They'll be like, oh, are any of these interesting to you? And I might be like, no, no, yes, yes, very yes, I'm willing to. And they'll try to get me, you know, sponsored stuff with any of those people. And I don't have to do anything. Um, let me see. Promoting Mark Side Quest. Wait, what? Uh, side Space Quest? Uh, let's see. Side Quest Media Mukluk. What? Bro, what? Hold on. Sign quest media. Yeah, I can't find anything on Twitter right now. All right. It's at your side quest. Okay, fine. At your side quest, Mukluk. When did they sign me? Ah, here we go. Okay, here's when they announced that I was with them. This was, when was this? July 2022. July 2022. So that's, that's when I, and yeah, and because of the streak, they're like, this is day one of our streak. Because <laughs> of, uh, you know, I've been live like, you know, 2008. Oh, that was another big thing that blows companies' minds sometimes. Because I'll be honest, when they work, these companies that work with streamers, they're used to working with people that they might be motivated when streaming, but like they're unorganized. They don't reply to emails quickly. They sleep in, they stay up all night, you know what I mean, right? So I was, just like, you know, they, they just like skip streams and they don't feel like it. And they're like, how long have you been streaming? And I was like, oh, uh, five years. And like, yeah. And I'm like, haven't missed a day. And they're like, oh, you stuck to your schedule? And I'm like, no, I haven't missed a day. And they're like, you mean you've streamed every day? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> every holiday, every sick day, every weekend. And they're like, what the hell? So usually if I tell them like that, plus the PG thing, they find that very impressive. Uh, I think your handle, uh, your handle sponsors are like, it's clear uh, whether you generally enjoy the game or not. Oh, I try to. I mean, even if it's something that I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm only going to play this once, but uh, you know, I, I, yeah, they're paying me, so I'm going to be respectable. Um, there was one, what was one recently? Mm, freaking Hatoful Boyfriend. Some of this stuff was gifted to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Spellforce Conquest of Hero. Dang it, I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, Realms of Ruin. I was sponsored to play uh, one night. And I did end up finishing the game and writing the review of it. But... It definitely, like, it was not my kind of uh, RTS. I, I like RTSs. This is an RTS, but it was really hands-off. Like, you couldn't micro your troops at all. So that was one that was like, okay, it was fun for a day, but I didn't really want to, like, do it long-term. Risk of Rain Returns, I did a sponsored stream for it one day. It was, it was a fun little game, but I didn't play it beyond that one day. And then, you know, there there's other games, like Pacific Drive. The sponsorship for this didn't work out. They didn't have a budget for it. But then they sent me all that cool swag, and I was like, well, I got to try the game now. And I ended up loving the game, and I played the whole game. So, you know, the bribe was successful. They successfully bribed me into just playing their whole game for free, basically. But yeah, we we have done a lot. We've done a lot. Um, And there's also sometimes I get just sent keys. Like, eh, there's so many, there was some here, like Goblinstone. 
this company basically just like sent out, um, I don't want to say spam mail, but I'm very much on some kind of list somewhere of just streamers and people without even talking to me send me keys all the time. Like they're just hoping that I will play the game. And sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm just like, no, that's not my thing. Uh, but like Goblin's, Goblin Stone was one that was just sent to me and it just landed in my email and I never even talked to the person. The shirt was really cool. The shirt was really cool. Poppy Playtime. No, Poppy, I played because I wanted to play it. Poppy Playtime, we played Chapter 1 way back, and then Chapter 2, and then Chapter 3 just recently came out, and so I bought and we played Chapter 3 recently. Um, dude, my kid draws, makes drawings for Poppy Playtime. Like, my kid likes Poppy Playtimes. My, my kid likes kid horror, like Five Nights at Freddy's and Poppy, and he does drawings, and they are the most haunting things. Like, it's like when I was a kid, if another kid made drawings like that, it'd be like, oh, this kid needs to be institutionalized. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. But yeah, we, we did Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 recently. Uh, the, the villain is Catnap, which is that thing right there. Um, mm, 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 mm. Against the Storm. I kept trying to get a sponsorship for Against the Storm, and it never worked out. And I couldn't even get a, a copy of the game. Like, sometimes I can get, like, a free copy of the game. And I was like, fine, I'll buy it. And then, dude, I ended up loving it. 145 hours and counting. I even did a review video, which you could see on Steam right there. Yeah. Uh, Timberborn has been the latest thing that I've really been enjoying uh, off stream. I bought it because it was an early access and it was like another RTS thing. Um, this one I've been playing off stream a lot. And it's got a unique thing because, like, you know, Against the Storm and Stranded Alien Dawn and Oxygen Not Included all have different things about them. But this one is about beavers. <laughs> And the whole thing is water. Like you see, there's all this water. It's turning the turbines. It's powering cranks. They swim in it. They get. They drink from it. But the number one thing that'll kill you is drought. Like basically, water comes in from one side of the map and it leaves the other. And you can make a dam because you're beavers to try to stop the water from leaving. And you want to trap as much of it on the map as possible because the dr the droughts get longer and longer. So your enemy in this game is droughts or uh, the stuff called bad water, which is like a poison flood. And it's actually, for what it is, a surprising amount of depth. Like, I, like I played it the first time and I was like, oh, this ain't much. And then I played it again and again. I was like, oh my God, what? This is, this is crazy. No shovels, no shoes, no ion storms. Yeah, we've got two games with ion storms. Helldivers 2 and uh, the Riftbreaker. Um, mm -mm. Have you played, you play games off stream? How many hours does your day have? Uh, pausable only, Spielmans. I only play like pausable games off stream. Uh, Cause like, I finish the morning stream. I, I go have lunch. Like I'm gonna go with like, my, mo my, uh, <laughs> my mom, lol. My wife brought me uh, lunch a minute ago. I'm gonna wrap this up and eat it here in a second. Uh, eat this, you know, take a shower. Um, I've already got a YouTube video scheduled to go out today, so that's already done. I did that over the weekend. Um, got a few things I need to do for Noxie, and then if, you know, if my, you know, might hang out with my wife, or might just be hanging out, I got three hours till my kid gets home, so that I might play, like, something that I can pause and get up from at any given time. Uh, but, like, I wouldn't start a round of Helldivers, uh, off stream time, because, you know, that doesn't pause, and so, and I try to be available anytime my wife or kids need me if I'm not streaming, because I'm you know, kind of ignoring them the whole time I am streaming. Uh, Enshrouded. Yeah, Enshrouded, we did a playthrough on stream. And then also my kid wanted to try it. So I bought him a copy. And then me and him played multiplayer for a while. He kind of got bored with it. But we did probably like 10 plus hours of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it. So kind of kind of went off topic there. But that's me. That's side quest. That's how sponsorships work. All that good stuff. Uh, but with that chat, it's a little bit early, but not enough time to do another round of the Rift Breaker. So I'm going to just take this chance to eat my food. Uh, thank you guys for a wonderful morning stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A uh, couple of plugs on the way out if you're new to my channel. My name is Muckluck. I stream every single uh, every single evening and every weekday morning. I'll be back tonight. The Monday night stream is going to be us. Uh, when I say us, I mean me and Fairlight practicing for the $50,000 tournament this Saturday. Uh, so that is the uh, Plunderstorm tournament that I was talking about earlier. So if you would like to see some of that, it's very action-packed. It's actually a lot of fun. Each round is like 15 minutes of quick-paced chaos. Um, they genuinely did a pretty good job of it. I, I consider myself bad at Battle Royales, and I'm doing pretty good in it. 
he, Fairlight, considers himself bad at MMOs, but he's good at Battle Royales, and he's doing pretty good. Like, it's a very simple skill set, uh, you know, to, to pick up. Um, what time is it on Saturday? Um, does it say in here? Let me see. I know I have to be there super early. Okay, here we go. Live on Twitch and YouTube, March 30th, starting 10 a.m. PDT, or 5 p.m. GMT. And we're going to be playing, like, depending on if, like, people tie, and then we have to do tiebreakers, it's going to be between, like, six and eight matches. Now, each match is 10 to 15 minutes, so that's, like, an hour and a half to two hours, which is not too bad. But... Yeah, you, like, if we die early, we might just be staring at other people play, or we might get to actually play a lot. We'll see. Uh, but with that, I'm going to wrap it up here. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. I will be back this evening. I'm going to wrap it up here. Hit follow, hit like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I will see you tonight. Say it backwards. Mmm, edge the need only you'll but see to take, please. Weak every giveaways, beakers, the touch don't speakers, the up crank way the on is entertainment. Stay the enjoy. You hope we lab the two viewer, dear you welcomes third the snuffles, Van Chauncey, Sir and Fourth, the Esquire, Reginald Bartholomew Douglas Muckluck. <laughs> the words pour from his mouth, nearly tripping over themselves in their haste. My name is Zunakai. I used to be a slave here, but then I worked hard and they made me an overseer. I kept a good eye on the slaves, and if anyone slacked off, I whipped them hard. Don't, don't clip it. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Oh, oh, hi. Uh. You stay there. I'm going that way. Deal. You broke the deal. Oh, Chauncey, uh, Chauncey can swim. I didn't know that. He, wait. How does he look so dapper while swimming? I've never seen a cat Look that dapper while swimming. Like, look, his chest is out. He's like, hmm, yeah. Uh, have you attempted oxygen not included? Mm-hmm. Uh, I played it on stream, and one very memorable memory is anyone who was at the stream, I was letting them name one of my replicants after them, and I said, Joe Niels, which one do you want to be you? And one of them had, like, explosive bowel syndrome or something. And he donated $50, and he was drunk, and he made the British guy said, I want a character making me the poop one. I don't know if anyone on Twitch has ever spent $50 to say making me the poop one. But that day, Joe did, and I, I it burned into my mind. The flashlight that we picked up earlier is in hand now. Oh, that's us. Oh, yo, I was getting... <laughs> the cardboard, this is not going to go well. Run an update. <laughs> I'm running... I'm running software updates. That it is. This is true horror, chat, because I was a tech support. I can't get away from it. They just left bread on the table. That bread's gonna dry out. The bread is gonna dry out. There's so much bread. You don't, like, the, you know, there's two of, the baby's not eating bread. There's two of us. There's, like, three loaves of bread there and another four right here. What are you doing? Put some saran wrap on it. It's going to dry out. New page. Oh, my God. A freaking patron sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like, mm, a new arrival. And then Ed Wolf was sure to follow. Oh, hello. Welcome, page. Sit down, you... Oh, season! Good to see you! I use numpad for my mounts. I use numpad for this, and 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 other things. I'm trying to sleep here. Am I too loud? Okay. I love you. I love you too.
you're still here, it's over. Go home. Go. Oh.